Now, we are going to, in this, we are actually going to do it. So, let's do the same thing we did before and continue to solve it. I will pause the video so you could, you can read it and then we continue. So, hopefully you read it before. It's a reaction that is taking place in a continuous reactor. You don't need to know this steady state. Well, actually, it helps, but it's not needed. The feed contains 85% of ethane. And the balance is inert. What does that mean? Only ethane is being fed, and inerts are just bothering there. The fractional conversion is 0 0.501. And the fractional yield... I mean, yield, we, we have seen it before and we are going to use it here, of ethylene it's 0.471. They ask you to calculate molar composition of the product gas, so actually what's going out, and the selectivity of ethylene to methane, so selectivity of ethylene to methane. Good, because we're going to understand and use yield and we're going to calculate selectivity, finally. Okay, we have this diagram, we're going to fit some reactor and go test product. <coughs> we, have, we label this equation 1, equation 2. Remember we have our product, our, sorry, our raw material, and this is our product desired, and we don't want this one. <coughs> so, conversion is 0 0.501 and selectivity is 0 0.471. I'm going to choose a basis, this 100 mole of feed basis. So it's obvious, we just multiply 85 mole of C2H6 and 15 mole of inert material. And I'm using this because, I don't know, I'm used to use letters. So a thing, I'm going to use the B, hydrogen, I will be using H. Methane, I will be using M, and inert stay as inert. Good. With the basis, we know this. We are going to do a mass balance using this equation again. Remember, guys, we're watching multiple reactions, so we need to find the extent of reaction. So, you, need, you know that we need to find these guys first. So, for this, I'm going to do this table to find new 1 and new 2 of each species. So, I have one reaction and reaction number two. I think if you remember, actually I'm going to write the equation. So I think <coughs> we'll react to form B plus H and <coughs> I think plus B will give you two hydrogens, I think. Let me check. Yeah, two okay. No, two methanes. Yeah. Two methanes. Hydrogen, product, ethane, plus, actually, ethane goes directly and produces, mm, uh, wait for it, ten, B and H, sorry guys, and B and H go further to the thing. So, just do it, let's do reaction number one, it's minus one, yeah, minus one, plus one, B, and plus one, H, good, minus one, plus one, and Y. And this, you could either put zero or it just leave it blank. And the second equation is, I think, I, sorry, yeah, let me just check. Yeah, sorry, sorry. It was the second one. Okay, we have this. I'm going just to use a thing plus hydrogen give you two of my things. So, minus one, I think, B doesn't count here, is zero, or does not apply. Hydrogen is minus one here, minus one, and we're producing two. So this is the numbers we want. Once we have epsilon, well, once we have these, we can go and calculate epsilon one and epsilon two. So let's do it. From the last table, <coughs> just substitute in here and you will get this system. We already done this before, I'm not going to repeat it. You need help, go to exercise number one, or simply just check it. So good, we have E, B, H, N, and inert. We have also conversion, we gotta use it right now, so we calculate epsilon. Since X 
of E is equal to 0.501, we can go to this equation, which is 0.501 equals 100 of E minus non-reacted divided by 100. The non-reacted will be almost half and the reacted will be almost half too. Now, let's calculate the moles of these guys at 50%. So you know we only reacted so zero this amount of moles and since we have 100 it will be 51, not 50.1. We just check how many we actually reacted it will be Na times 1 minus Xa, sorry, Xe. We get this number 85 because 85 are the moles that we're feeding and 0.499 is the moles that we didn't react. So we get this. We're going to substitute this because it's the initial amount of moles, no, the final amount of moles of E. We substitute this here and we got 42.4 equals NeO for the initial amount of moles. It's here 85. Remember it's only 100 times 0.85. So this is what we feed, this is what we're left at the end, and we get this equation. Two variables, one equation. That's not good, we need another equation. And thank God they gave us a yield information, because then we are going to get another equation with this guy. Now, the max amount of E, if the feed is 85 mole and reacts 100%, we're going to have one mole of C2H4 per each mole of C2H6. So the maximum theoretical will be 85, of course, because we are going to produce, if we produce one mole, one mole of E to one mole of B, we'll have 85 mole of E, we'll produce 85 mole of desired product. But the yield, they tell you, it's only 47, 0.471. So we are going to calculate the amount of moles with the yield data which is 85 times 0.47. This is simple, and you will get the amount of products being produced, the actual yield, how many moles of our product are producing with this system. The yield talks more about the system, the reactions. So that's not that good, analyze it. We are feeding 85 moles. We should be getting 45 moles of B, and we are getting only 40. So that's not that good, but we get what we want. Finally, substitute all the equations. So, from equation, sorry guys, we have this equation, and we have this equation. So, with this, you will get the extent of reaction. And we go here, substitute MB equals, sorry guys, look, from this guy here, we know how many produced. We know that this is 40. We talked about previously, it's not that much, we, fit, we fed 85 and we're only getting 40 of our desired product and 40 is exactly epsilon 1, that's nice. So, sorry about that, we got this and we just substitute 40 and we got epsilon 1. And then we're going to use this epsilon 1 to substitute in this equation right here and we get we have this, no, this, we don't have this, and we have this. We just look for epsilon 2, and it's 2.6. That's good. But that's not what we are asked ask for. We are going to solve more. Now, we have epsilon 1 and epsilon 2. That's just the first part. We're going to substitute these guys in the extent of reaction equations. So just make sure you put all the data wrong, uh, correctly. Sorry. You add all 140 total moles. Good. You could also do this because actually we need to do it. They are asking us the final compositions. This is just y of species i is equal to mole of i divided by mole total, total moles. Total moles is 140, so this will be the same for everyone. 140, 140, 140. And mole of i is simply just these guys being substituted in each step here. This one is here. Yeah, 
actually just here. And you get the final conversions or compositions. Of course, if you add them, they got to get to one, near one at least, you could have a 99 or 1.01. You get, I don't know, 1.1, 1 .1. that's, I think, too much. But it's okay. We have the composition right here. And they also ask us for the selectivity of the thing compared to the one of, let me check, methane, I think. Should be, yeah, methane, I don't know why. Methane, ethylene, and C2H4 compared to, yeah. So, we just, okay, I know this one's the 40 ones, we're getting with B compared to the methane. So it's 40 divided by 5.2, which is 7 mol of uh, our product and methane, compared to methane. And that's everything guys, hope you liked the video. We're going to continue with, well, we're actually going to do a break, so if you need more problems or exercises, please go to this web page, probably you're going to find a lot there. In the section courses, go to mass balance and you will find the problem section. So how to account? This is actually so easy because we are just seeing theory but what happens when you have more systems and you have plenty of reactions and actually you have a recycle and I don't know, like a chaos, you want to understand that and the only thing you can understand that is doing the problems because actually you got all the theory needed to solve this but I'm sure you will not be able to do it that easily, so you gotta do the problems, guys. Go to the problem index and just click on the desired problem. Thank you, guys. Hope that you're liking the course, Mass Balance. We're going to see a break. We're going to understand what are we doing next and what have we been doing in these whole classes. So thank you, guys. See you in the next video.